Hello YouTubers. Shelly91 here. Yeah. Shelly91 here yeah, with a uh, just a little uh, test of the uh, GIF Stealth 2 camera with the uh, with a microphone mod. I uh, I purchased an external uh, microphone jack last week. It arrived this morning, so I uh, I went ahead and I uh, sorted that out. Did a few tests indoors without the mic being inside the helmet, and uh, some quality sound of the charm. A huge thanks to uh, motor vlogger Jamie for his uh, help and uh, support regarding the, uh, the mic mod for the uh, Stealth 2 including the um, the links he, uh, he submitted so I'm just uh, going to do a little bimble at the moment I'm uh, currently heading for Gorsainen uh, for those of you who don't know where Sign on is it's a town in Swansea, Swansea City, where this despicable sack of shit is from. <sighs> it's um, it's not very cold up today, surprisingly enough. Uh, I was expecting it to be a bit uh, colder and a bit uh, see a little bit of frost out still, but uh, at the moment it's uh. It's fine. <coughs> Just gonna open up the visor this fucking thing for fogging up. So yeah, it's just a quick test today to uh, to basically find out to see how well this microphone performs whilst inside the helmet with the uh, with the new mic microphone mod, I have a um, a Boya uh, microphone, one of them fucking uh, clip-on types that you get for a uh, GoPro. And basically, um, I started uh, well, I started doing a uh, bit of vlogging and uh, recording videos on out and about on uh, on my bike uh, back last uh, Christmas time. And uh, back then I had the uh, Kit Vision uh, HD Escape 5, which was um, on sale at a reduced price in uh, Tesco. So I got that for about 30 quid. And uh, for a while it actually worked, uh, worked quite a treat like, but uh, it wasn't really good for uh, motor vlogging uh, whatsoever, which, is, uh, well, which was a the main issue with it. After that, then I um, I ended up getting the uh, ODRVM, whichever fucking thing it's called. Again, it's more or less another another cheap knockoff of uh, a GoPro. Again, no external microphone support for it, and uh, I did uh, I did try getting the um, I did try uh, external microphones for it, but none of them worked, unfortunately. Um, I was thinking about getting the Git One, or the Git Up Git One Pro, which does have microphone support. It is like a uh, GoPro, and is compatible with GoPro mounts. <coughs> and this was before I got the uh, Drift Stealth through. Now, with this, with the uh, the Drift. While I, uh, while I had the previous cameras, I was still in the market for um, for a fairly decent one. And something that did have a uh, microphone support or something, you know. Or something that was simple enough to uh, to mod, basically. So you can actually stick a micro external microphone support on it. And, uh, well, that's time, you know. 
there's uh, the drift ghost, the drift ghost, uh, the drift ghost S. I was uh, um, I look at them, both the same price really. Bit silly, you know, but uh, oh well, it's good for. Uh, but for how long they've uh, they've been out, especially with the fucking drift, the drift ghost HD, you know, you'd think that the prices would have dropped down a bit. So I was in the market really for for something that was on a budget, and um, well, about two or three weeks back, I picked up this uh, drift stealth two in MPs for uh, for about a hundred quid, which isn't bad. And um, before that, I was um, I was on YouTube going through all the various uh, reviews and whatnot regarding the uh, the stealth two. Fucking double parking on this bloody road. Especially these idiots somewhere. The <clears throat> uh, reviews regarding the, uh, the Drift Stealth 2 and external microphone modifications. Um, now, there were some good, there were some bad uh, reviews. But um, <coughs> I thought, well, why not? Like, why not have a go? Do it as a little project for myself, an early, uh, an early Christmas present, so to speak. And uh, well, I did that today, and after a few tests indoors, it sounds a treat, works a charm. So now I'm just uh, testing this out on the outdoors. Well, let's record my journey to uh, Asda. No, I know that there would be a few Americans watching uh, watching my my vids, and um, just to uh, just to clarify, Asda in the US would actually be Walmart because Asda is part of the Walmart brand. So yes, if those who are uh, think that I'm coming to the UK from the states and. Uh, Want to know if there is a Walmart out there? Then yes, it's just under a different name. <coughs> I'm just glad it's not uh, it's not uh, dead freezing out like. I don't get the point on that whoever owns that place there. Huh? It's supposed to be a fucking cemetery. There's, uh, there's no bugger buried there. I think the only thing living or dead that's actually there, well, I'd say dead, you know, but they are actually living, is horses. Horses grazing. You'd see them there from time to time. So this is good sign on out. You've got the big 3M factory up there. So if you see all the, um, or the majority of the products that uh, 3M make, no doubt about it, they make them there. I'm not entirely sure if uh, 3M actually has any uh, other factories or depots anywhere else in the UK. And, uh, yeah. So for a while, I was after something I could actually record audio with, whilst uh, myself out on the road recording my videos. Little Mexican standoff there, sort your fucking self out, mate. Swirling. I actually came off. I run by there. A good few years back, it was by her actually that came off when that fucking drain is below. And my bike ended up by her. <coughs> it was a uh, it was a shitty day weather wise, uh, fine rain made the road very greasy. And at the time I had uh, a uh, Suzuki Bergman 125. 
the uh, the first bike I had. That was, uh, that was back in 2011. So 2011, I started biking. After the Bergman, I had the Yamaha YBR 125. That got nicked and fucked over. So now I just have this. Lex Motor Ranger. In other words, the Lexi.